Hi guys, I wanted to show how I take photographs of nebulae and galaxies from my balcony. This is the view from a balcony. It is facing north and part of the northeast and northwest sky can be seen. I cannot see the zenith as the roof of my balcony obstructs the view. So I can't photograph the deep sky objects that are near the zenith. I live in a bottle 5 scale light polluted area. It is fairly good enough to photograph deep sky objects without a light pollution filter from here. I have a Skywatcher Star Adventurer 2i Pro mount for tracking the stars. For proper tracking, the mount has to be polar aligned. That is, the rotational axis of the mount has to be exactly pointing at the north celestial pole. For this, I have already adjusted my equatorial wedge to my local latitude, which is around 10 degrees north. This is how it looks when viewed through the polar scope of the mount. Then I have to adjust the mount left to right so that the north star that is Polaris exactly aligned to the markings of the circle as shown in the app for the current time and location. I photograph using an unmodified Canon 200D camera. The lens I use is Sigma 150-600 mm telephoto lens. Sometimes I also use Tokina 100mm and Samyang 135mm lenses. Next I attach the lens to the fine tuning mounting assembly. I also use auto guiding for more accurate tracking so that I can get long exposures of 2 to 3 minutes of the target without any star trailing. I use ZWO ASI 120mm mini camera and guide scope for auto guiding. Then the mounting assembly is attached to the mounting platform of the tracker. Rough balancing is done by adjusting the counterweight. The auto guider camera is attached to the mounting assembly. Now the assembly is balanced once again by adjusting the counterweights. The cables are attached to the auto guider camera and to the mount. Once again, the mount with its fully loaded gears is polar aligned before framing the target.
The cables from the autoguider on the main camera is then connected to the computer. I use a power bank to power up the tracker. Then I frame the target that I have already planned to shoot using star hopping technique. Once the target is framed, I start the PHD2 software to autoguide the tracker. I use APT software to control the Canon camera and take multiple long exposure photographs of the framed deep sky objects. These long exposure photographs of the target are called light frames. Then I shoot the dark and flat frames. I use deep sky stacker for stacking the images. Once the images are stacked, then I process using Serial and Photoshop software. I would like to show some astrophotographs that were taken using this setup from a balcony. But, but, but wait, before that I wanted to say one needs a lot of patience to do astrophotography. There should be clear sky, which is rare most of the nights and if moon is shining bright then it's very difficult to do photography of the deep sky objects sometimes it takes many nights or weeks to photograph a single target due to the clouds or the moon so patience is very very important in astrophotography now let's see some of my photographs that we're able to shoot Hope these photos were good. See you guys. Let us meet in the next video. And thank you.